Hey kids, do you want to make an unboxing video? Yeah. What about you? Do you think we should make an unboxing video? Yeah. It's an LED, come back. It's an LED projector. Look at this thing. I don't have a lot of experience with this, so bear with me guys while we do the rundown on all the stuff. We're going to unbox it first. I already got to show you how it works. Alright, so here's the box. It's very fancy. I remember the old school ones that had like a big hot light bulb. I don't know if this is going to be like that, um, but here's the outside. Side view. Uh, the top of it pretty much says the same thing. Yep. The most cost efficient, high resolution LED projector. On the front, Got the same thing on the back. You can see that shine. Yeah, it looks pretty, huh? Alright, let's open it up and, and see what it looks on like. Alright, let's see what this looks like. Yep. And yeah, we're doing it right next to Klamath Lake. Super pretty out here. Figured we'd get some nice daylight views on this thing here. What? Me and Con just don't scare those guys away. Okay, bye. <laughs> here we go. We're greeted with a white, small white box on the top of the package here. We'll peek in here. We've got the projector itself. Let's check out what's in this white box. Open this up. We're greeted with our power cord. Some cables. This is a HDMI cable. We've got a remote for the projector. All right, here's the remote itself. It looks simple to use. It doesn't have a bunch of crazy buttons on it or anything. Looks good, feels good in the hand. It's sort of a soft texture kind of plastic. That's all we got in the white box. Go ahead and see what the star of the show looks like in here. Whoa, this is really neatly packaged. Guys, this has, um, it's like bubble wrap, but it's like in tubes. All right, thumbs up for tube bubble wrap. Um, and this thing is enclosed inside of it, so we're gonna pull it out. All right, here we go. All right, this is the front of it. This is where the projector part itself is. Looking really nice. And we've got some buttons on the top. We've got focus, so you can turn this, turn that. That adjusts the focus. We've got a lens cap. I'm gonna pull that off of here. All right, there's the lens cap. And there's the lens itself hanging out in there, it looks good. So here we've got a side profile view of this. We're working our way to the back. And here we have all the input, output type stuff that you can use this projector with here. There's power, the power switch. We've got two HDMI ports. We've got two, one, two, USB ports, AV, we've got headphones, it looks like you can even stick a memory card in here, in that little spot right there. And we've got whatever that port's called. If I can find that in the manual, I'll definitely <laughs> label that. I'm not, a, I'm not awesome with ports, guys, so I'm not sure what they're all called, but those are all of the outputs that you get to work with on this model. In this cool tubey package that they send you in, look how... <laughs> that's so futuristic looking. Ah. I know I'm gonna get flack for saying that's futuristic, but that's a really cool bubble wrap thing right there. All right, we got the instructions here. So this is a customer service card that they send you. There's the website. Uh, I suppose you could go there to look up your specs or you can check it out on Amazon. Link in the description. And there's the back side. And then we've got a user guide. And that's all the other literature that, that they include in this thing. Um, it just shows you how all the interface stuff, how to use it. I wonder if this shows what that one port was called. That way I don't look so goofy. Shows you the boot screen. We're going to get to this when we take this thing indoors to show you. Um, oh, they, they labeled everything except for that one little port <laughs> that I couldn't think of. I mean, it looks like old school VGA, sort of. I'm sure that's not what it is, but okay. You can insert micro SD card into the slot. 
all the supported formats right there that this thing is compatible with. Looks really cool. All right, can't wait to get it inside and we're gonna test it out and see how well it works. I need to find a wall big enough. I believe this can project up to like a 200 inch, uh, you know, image on the wall, video on the wall. So. Okay, now we're back home. I wanted to show you guys the booklet that this thing comes with. It gives you a little safety notice you'll want to pay attention to. Labels uh, finally got the name of that port right there. It is VGA. <laughs> um, got the remote control. It does not come with batteries. It takes two AAAs. Um, this tells you to use the manual on how to do things. It talks about the boot screen and how to use everything. Flip on over here to the back side, much like a television, it's got settings where you change it to VGA, HDMI 1 and 2, AV, multimedia. I imagine that one's going to be used if you're uh, putting an SD card inside of it. You can adjust the foot pegs, you know, the heights of them. So, you know, it works just fine. Um, again, we talk about how to navigate the menus. And then here's basically, you know, the features here. And I think that's supposed to technology. <laughs> Here's the sizes that this thing can run and I've got it all hooked up. I've um, never really used one of these before so go easy on me if you are a master projector user watching this video. Just know that I've never used one. Alright here's the projector all hooked up and ready to go. We've got the main focus and then I guess this is called keystone focus. That's to make your picture not look bigger at the top or smaller at the bottom or whatever so you can adjust it. Uh, it's all plugged in and the power switch is turned on. So we're going to turn it on with the remote. It's alive! Check that out. It looks so cool. You can hear the little fan running. It's not very loud. Okay, I don't have a projector screen, so I'm just using my wall here as a demo. But I want you to see, I don't know how well the video will show it, but it, it's really clear. It looks pretty good. And this is actually creating a massive screen on my wall right now. Um, this little cutoff part at the lower right is because I've got something sitting over there. Uh, it's not It's not the actual, it's not coming from it that way. It, it's actually just a perfect square. Um, I'm going to mess with the focus really quick just so you can see. You know, we're out of focus and fuzzy. Now we're nice and sharp. But that keystone thing I thought was pretty cool because I remember projectors from school it would look kind of goofy. The top would be bigger than the bottom, but look, you can rotate it and get it square so that it looks the way it should look and not distorted. Now, I was told this can connect to your phone. I'm not sure how. I did plug in the USB cord and plugged it into my iPhone 10. Didn't do anything. But what I'm gonna try to do right now is plug my Xbox One S into this and see if we can Play a video game on it. All right, so we've got the Xbox on. We're plugged into HDMI one, and now we're gonna actually switch it over using the remote. Okay, so to get to that little section, you click this little button above the volume plus. Now we can select HDMI one, and look at that. I've got my Xbox One S on my wall. Okay, I need to play now. So now we have an expert Halo 3, yes I said Halo 3 player, launching the Halo 3 game here. Man, it's going to embarrass me. Dude, the sound's coming out of the projector. That other guy helped you out there. Yes, thank you, other guy. Mm. Not cool, man. Come on, you bruh. I like that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Good sound. Halo 3 from like 10 years ago. 
Hey guys, I just want to kind of recap basically. I, I want to say I'm really impressed with this. The sound is really good too. But the sharpness of this, despite being on this, this like five foot section of wall here, it's really good. And you shut the lights out, you feel like you're in a movie theater. Uh, I imagine most people, rather than using this for gaming, maybe you'll do it for gaming, but you probably use it for multimedia presentations or things like that, things that a typical business would probably use a projector for. Um, I think that's gonna be really good for you guys. Uh, LED light bulb, it's not like those old school light bulbs that get super hot. Um, I mean, this thing does put off some heat, but it's not super crazy or anything like that. I just used HDMI to my Xbox One S, but keep in mind this does have a lot of other I.O. ports that you can use. I just don't know how to use them really well. I'm not, I'm not a projector kind of user. So forgive me for not demonstrating all of the different ports and things like that, but I think you get a good idea from the quality of the picture and the sound and the way everything looks that you're getting a really good product with this. Uh, there's gonna be a link for this product and maybe even a special product code down in the description. Go ahead and click it, give it a look. Uh, I think it gives you, uh, you know, maybe a discounted product, that sort of thing. Definitely check them out. It's a really cool projector for being a projector, you know, that, that sort of thing. It does what it's supposed to do. So everybody, thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. This was the end of the video, but haha, I decided I'm gonna do one more little demo with this. This is a Google Chromecast. I'm gonna plug this thing into it and show you that it works with that. And also tell you that in order to hook a phone up to it, like my iPhone 10, you can totally do it. You just need the lightning to HDMI adapter, and I don't own one of those. Hey Google, lights off. Check it out. Now we've got the Google Chromecast connected to the projector. She's fine. Whoa, look at that. We got the little, uh, I'm not gonna connect anything up to it right now, but it's got, you know, the generic uh, wallpapers and stuff. Guys, I, I hope the camera does it justice. Right now my daughter's sticking her hand in the way, but I, I just, it, it's clear. It looks really good and really awesome for, for a projector. So I hope you guys know now that you can connect a phone to it. You just need an adapter, something that's gonna allow like HDMI to whatever your phone is, whether it's lightning, micro USB or USB-C, you know, it'll, it'll work with it. So just wanted to add that little note in here, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.